Thank you for taking the time to read through this presentation. Um, my name is Mrs Brown. I'm the Head of IT and Computing and also the course teacher of GCSE Computer Science. The world depends on computers and never more so in the last few years has this become more apparent. In this GCSE, you will learn about how computers work, the networks they use, and how programming can create solutions to everyday problems and future challenges. You will develop problem solving skills, solve real world problems, learn through exploration, and hopefully open the door to your future career, which may even mean you change the world one day. There are six topics that you will study in computer science. Topic one is computational thinking. In computational thinking, we are not learning to think like a computer, but to understand how computers are used to solve problems. We learn how algorithms are developed and how they can be modeled using flowcharts. For topic two, data, we look at how computers only understand binary and how data is represented by computers in binary. We look at data storage and compression techniques that can be used to reduce file sizes. For topic three, computers, we are looking at the hardware elements that make up the computer and how those components work together. This also includes the software that is essential to our experience in how we use computers. For topic four, networks, we look at how networks can be configured and we also look at the security of networks. This leads us on to the investigations of some of the threats that organisations face that try to undermine their networks. The last um, theoretical topic is issues and impacts and this is a really dynamic and exciting area of study as we start to look at some of the emerging trends in computing technology and the impact that this has on us as individuals, the society and also the environment. We discuss the legal and ethical implications of technology and we delve further into studying cyber security. Topic six is our programming, uh, programming topic and this is where we look at using Python programming. Um, we develop our analytical skills in this topic to help us decompose problems so that we can write and refine solutions. The course is assessed at the end of year 11 by two external exams. Paper 1 is a traditional written exam that lasts an hour and a half and it assesses those topics from 1 to 5 that were discussed on the previous slide. And um, paper two is very different. It's quite an exciting paper in that it's a practical programming exam um, where it's an on screen assessment that is two hours in, in duration and it assesses the students programming understanding. And um, both papers are equally weighted at 50% of the qualification each. There are five compulsory questions. Each one focuses on one of the topic areas for paper one from topics one to five. The questions in the exam will consist of multiple choice. There'll be short and medium and extended questions. Paper two is an on-screen practical programming exam that assesses topic six using Python programming language. During this exam, students are given six questions containing problems to solve. This could be fixing coding errors to write in their own programs to solve given problems. They will develop skills in understanding what algorithms are and what they're used for, understanding how to decompose and analyze problems, and their ability to read, write, refine, and evaluate programs using Python. The world around us is becoming ever more digital and the technology that surrounds us is constantly advancing. This means that new roles are being created in the digital and computer science industry. 
it is a really exciting time to study computer science and this means for us that the jobs that you'll be doing when you start your careers in a few years time may not even at this point exist yet particularly for us in Liverpool this is a really really exciting time because um, as a city we've got an ambition to be the UK's leading digital place um, and that's going to present our students with huge amounts of opportunities right here on our doorstep. 